Welcome, in front of me is a Samsung Galaxy S21 and today I'll show you how to go through the setup process of this phone. Now to get started, once you boot it up, you'll be presented with this um, kind of Apple copy of uh, setup screen where it just basically cycles through different welcome messages in different languages. So let's tap on start or whatever it's showing there and then select our language. Now I'm going to stick with uh, English right here, but you are free to select any kind of other language from the list. Let's tap on next. And here we have connect to mobile network. Now, if you have a SIM card, you can pop it in here and basically connect to a mobile network if you wanted to, or you can tap on next and completely skip it. And on the next page, we have a few uh, legal uh, items to review. So we have the end user license agreement, which is uh, mandatory to actually agree to. If you don't, you won't be able to actually finish up the setup. Now we have two additional ones below that, which are completely optional. So if you don't want them, just keep them off. And also, if you tap on details, you will get the entire uh, well, legal document that you actually are agreeing to. So if you want to, you can read it. From there, let's tap on next and go to the Wi-Fi settings page right here. And in here, we have the ability to simply log into Google, uh, to well, our Wi-Fi. That's assuming we have one near us. And now again, this is completely optional. If you don't want it, you can skip it. If you do want to, you can connect to it. Now, by skipping this, you will miss out the option to log into your Google account, uh, at least throughout the setup process, and also restore the device from a Google backup, along with having your date and time being set automatically. So on the next page, once you skip it or connect to it, uh, you will have the copy apps and the data. Now this is Samsung version of it, uh, like I said, the one that you get, uh, you skip throughout the setup is the Google version. So in here we could uh, back up our old phone to this one uh, using the Google uh, app for it. Or not Google, what am I saying? The Samsung app for it. But I'm just gonna set it up to be a new device without actually copying anything. And then we have the date and time, like I said. So here uh, it's not being set automatically, but it is actually being set correctly, at least for me right now. So. It is, uh, uh, well, I'm not really in Warsaw, but close enough uh, that the time zone is correct. Uh, date and time is actually correct as well. So all I need to do is tap on next. And here we have Google services. Now, when it comes down to the services, we have uh, three different ones. We have the location scanning and send user and diagnostic data. Now, briefly going over them, location is just a GPS tracking and apps like Google Maps use them uh, to give you a accurate route if you're using it as a GPS tracker. Um, now there's also apps like, for instance, Huawei Smart Appliances, Smart Home App, which will want your uh, GPS navigation or GPS location for literally no reason because uh, why would you have privacy? Uh, there is no need for uh, basically to justify this. Uh, this app uses Bluetooth, not location, to actually connect with its appliances. So the reason for it to have access to location is completely redundant. Now, anyway, going to the allow scanning, uh, that's basically allows the phone to scan for things like uh, Bluetooth devices and Wi-Fi device or Wi-Fi connections around the phone. Um, then below that, we have send user and diagnostic data, kind of self-explanatory, uh, allows Google to gather data on you and basically send it to itself. So uh, Google will have information about how you use the device, uh, basically what they say, and also probably some additional things that you might not want them to have. Anyway, you can actually disable them if you don't want it. And then let's tap on more and accept. And this will take us to protect your phone. So here we have several different ways of protecting our device. We have face recognition, fingerprint, pin pattern, or password. Now, if you want to set up, for instance, one of the two uh, first ones, so fingerprint or face recognition, you are still required to set one of the three below ones. That is so, for instance, if something happens with your finger or your face, uh, you have still additional way of unlocking the device uh, by, for instance, if you select pin pattern password, you can unlock those using even a sausage if you wanted to. So uh, I'm going to set up a fingerprint and like I said, it will also require me to set up a uh, pin pattern password. So let's here, fingerprint, let's skip this. Actually, no, there we go. continue. And there we go. So we do have to I set it up. Now I'm going to go with a pattern right here, set up a pattern, continue, repeat it and confirm it. And that will set up the pattern. 
And now I will start actually adding my finger. So let me pick up the device so I can actually use my thumb for this. So what you want to do is simply press the area right here with your desired finger, which for me, this is going to be... I'm pretty sure it is covering the entire sensor. But I have a too small finger to actually add it to it. Great, so apparently I cannot add my finger. Um, well, that's kind of bad. Oh well, never mind then. We're not adding finger. Uh, then we have Samsung account on the next page. And this is basically uh, Samsung's approach to take everything that Google has already packed into Android and trying to have uh, their own version of it. So uh, I guess they gather data on you as well. Uh, because let's be honest, any kind of application that is baked into Android is there also to gather data on you. So it can be, well, basically sold off. Um, now, if you tap on skip, it will bring up at this window, uh, basically trying to uh, go to and to look at what you're missing. And looking straight at this, uh, I'm gonna quickly go over all of them just for fun. So we have Samsung Cloud because, you know, uh, Google didn't make their own uh, called Google uh, Cloud, uh, which automatically backs up the devices to Google. We have Bixby. Uh, Google has also a smart assistant called a hey Google. Uh, Galaxy Theme entire play store is full of those uh, so yeah let's skip that one uh, find my mobile uh, find my device also google has that uh, samsung pass a simple and secure way to, uh, to sign in with your fingerprint w wow because google doesn't actually allow you to set up protection using your fingerprint and android this is literally using android and then we have google, uh, galaxy store almost say google store uh, but yeah a galaxy store Play Store, again, a completely Google version of it, which in every single way, all of those options are better uh, on just Google side because they have been out for longer, had way more time to mature and be customized to basically the user's, uh, user's expectations. And we have Secure Folder, which I believe might be the only thing that, uh, that this phone is lacking. Now, some additional ones do have uh, things like the Secure Folder uh, baked into their File Explorer but I believe Samsung might not. So this is the only thing you will be actually missing between like Samsung and Galaxy uh, differences. But yeah, let's skip that because no one really cares about only one thing uh, that you can get, gain here. And once you do, you can tap on finish and be completely done with the setup. And there we go. We are completely done now. So. That is how you can go through the setup of this device. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.